Good morning. Good morning. Um, I am getting annoyed with my bangs, so I'm looking a little different today. So it is December 13th. Yes, guys, it has been like 10, nine days since I have turned on the vlog camera because I have felt like crap. And now I'm finally feeling more like myself again. Um, but it's just, it's just been rough. It's been a rough go of it. Anyway, so I'm on my way to the chiropractor because I am going to Crystal Bridges tonight with my in-laws and my parents for my mother-in-law's birthday. And there's walking and there's, well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but walking is hard sometimes, guys. Um, if you don't follow along, I have <clears throat> dealt with chronic pain in my hip and back for about three years at this point um, due to a faulty foundation in my back. Unfortunately, it was undetected for a good amount of my life and now it is detected because of the pain and it's just been a long go of it to get where we're at. But anyway. I just wanted to uh, give you all an update of what's going on and I guess we'll just start the vlog here. It is much later in the day. Um, again, still not feeling good. So we spent the day watching The Office and researching more ways to fix me. So fun. Put on the tripod because I'm going to get ready. So we are going to, I don't know if I said this in the intro, we're going to Crystal Bridges in Bentonville to celebrate Seth's mom's birthday. And it's kind of a nice place. It's a, a like kind of a museum, it's a museum. I'd say it's like an art museum, um, art gallery, whatever. They have this really pretty winter thing going on. It's probably super fancy. It's not like gonna have Santa Claus in it. It's called like winter crystal something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, she's very artsy and she loves this just like me. So we're gonna go and um, we're also gonna take her to a steak place down up, up towards Bentonville as well. There's a lot of things that have been going on in the last week that I probably should fill you in in. I mentioned that I haven't been feeling good and that's I'm just gonna leave it at that because there's really nothing else I can say with that. So essentially, I took out sugar in my diet and I did not realize the withdrawals were gonna be as bad as they were. I've done like a sugar detox before or a Whole30 or whatever, but I don't know, I guess, I guess I just didn't expect it to hit as bad as it was. My theory is that I can't put my body through like another detox the way that I have in the past where I, I did the detox and then I went back to eating the way I did. Um, I worked at a bakery so I was eating a lot of sugar before I quit and became a music teacher but I kind of started tapering off. I wasn't eating quite as much sugar and then finally it was like enough is enough. We're not, I mean honestly the reason that I completely cut cold turkey was because we're fasting. Um, so Seth's fasting social media, there's no health thing to that. But I won't get into why we're fasting, this is just something we're doing, and I feel like, I guess I just didn't expect it to, me to go through as much of the withdrawal. Um, Cause I thought like, God would bless it and it would all be like, just easy. That's not, that's not, um, that's not how it's worked out. And that's okay. I've learned a lot and I feel like I've gotten a lot closer to God in the process of <laughs> not feeling good and, you know, I feel like he's walked with me through this so I'm not, I don't feel like I'm abandoned by him or anything. But, it's just sucked. And I'm not afraid to say it, it sucked. That's where we're at. Um, day 13, I'm less, I don't feel anxious or depressed. I took an Epsom salt bath last night and that was amazing. Um, which by the way, it, comment down below, is it normal? <laughs> this sounds really weird, you're not my doctors. I 
took an Epsom salt bath and like once I looked at the water after I got out, there was stuff in the water. And I know that that's a, a bath, like, I, but I'm not dirty. So what my theory is, is because Epsom salt baths like kind of detox you and pull things out, I think there's like junk, there's like toxins that were in my pores that the Epsom salt just pulled out and I looked at the water and I was like, that was in my skin? That, oh, I, well, I mean like, and I just washed the tub before, so again, I know you're not my doctors, I know I'm probably crazy, but I feel like that's normal if you, especially if you're going through a detox, your body's probably letting it all go at this point. Um, and you're, if you're doing a detox and like, it's been probably 10 days or so. Anyway, um, but I ended up feeling so much better after that. And then I went to the chiropractor today and I'm treating all the things that are normally hurting anyway, but um, yeah. I don't know what else I was saying today. I'm sorry. I'm, I feel, I mean, I have, since day one, I felt like um, I have more of like a brain fog. I, I might sit down and make an official video of like what the days and like the days that I had certain symptoms and when those went away and when new ones came up. Um, because I didn't know and articles are, you know, very helpful, but also when I feel like I'm the only one going through it and like everybody just gets off sugar so easy. It made me feel really isolated. So that increased depression, feeling alone and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that, be able to type out what I want to say. And like when I'm fully back, I'll be able to like say things with a clear statement. So if I'm not talking as good, that's another symptom of my detox. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually going, at the end of the day, it's going well, it's getting better. Um, I can't believe I was eating as much sugar as I was because I said the withdrawals kind of depend on how much sugar you're eating. And I didn't think I was eating that much sugar, but I guess I was. So this is, mm-hmm, we're vlogging. Yay! I was really going for like the messy, messy second day hair look and I think I succeeded at that. So, about to hop in the car. My sister's gonna come over with her dog and they're gonna play. It'll be fun. I got a turtle neck. I don't have that, so I figure if it's gonna be cold enough, I'd like it. Oh, we already got the frizzies going. I love it. We put up lights outside yesterday, or the other day. I didn't vlog it, because it was kind of boring, but that middle one actually didn't work when we put it up. And then when we were inside in the living room, Seth just looked over and he was like, oh my gosh, it's on now. But now it's only half on. Like half of it's lit and half it's not, I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but this again is a symptom of withdrawal you have like a foggy brain. So like, I, I know in previous vlogs I mentioned, I feel foggy, I feel like I'm forgetting something. That's what that was, ready for food. Good thing we have reservation. Mm-hmm. So we made it here, it's really pretty. But my mom just called me right when we were pulling in, said that the reservation wasn't in there. So we called yesterday and made a reservation for 5.30 and they can't find him, so. Hopefully they have space, and hopefully, yeah, it looks like they have some space. We're at the North Forest Lights in Bentonville, and we're gonna see, them. and we just got done with dinner killed about two hours eating steak. Um, look at that guy. Chivalry's not dead, my friends. But I'm about to, oof, my back is just tight from being adjusted today. Um, put on my coat and then we're gonna go.
texture of your voice. So you go up to a microphone and you sing into it and then it does something according to how it reacts to your voice. It's pretty cool. Your voice has color. One, two, C. Thank you.